welcome back to today's video. Today we will be making a playing card holder. This is just one that you hold like this so it keeps your cards private so you no one sees them. So you just kind of hold it like this. Um, so yeah, I had a fun time making this project and it's super simple. Under 20 minutes you can do it. 30 minutes you can do it. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Alrighty everyone, so today we are making a playing card holder. So it will be used to hold any cards during a card game. So first, let's see, I have enough here for two um, holders, so I have cut out for two. So you only need enough for one if you wanted to make that. So this is my front here. You're going to need a 9x9 nine nine square. Same for your lining piece. Um, I have to make pockets because I forgot to make, forgot to cut those out. Um, so you have these strips here, which are three by nine. Never mind, these are supposed to be six by nine. Sorry. So just put those over there. So we have a fleece. We have three. You're gonna need three strips of three by nine fleece. Some fusible fleece and stabilizer. Um, it said ultra firm stabilizer. You're gonna need eight and a half by eight and a half, and you're gonna need two. So I'm gonna go and cut some pockets, and you're going to need three six by nine pockets. So I'm gonna go cut those real quick, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty. So first, we're going to start off with our pocket pieces. So we need three six by nine pocket pieces. And you're also going to be using your fusible fleece, your three by nine pieces. So it says, we're just going to take one, one by one, and I'm just going to iron them flat. And then I'm going to fold it in half, just like this. So where your right sides are facing out, I'm going to press. Okay, so there's one, and we're going to do that with all three pockets. So we have two, and then we have one more. So just kind of brush over it and fold it over. All right, so now we have our three pocket pieces. One, two, three. Now then, it says... Alrighty, so I'm going to just take one piece at a time. We're going to open it back up. Place our fusible fleece down. And then we're just going to fold it over. And we're going to re-iron it. Just so that it sticks. Just like that. So that it makes it a little thicker. So we're going to do that with all three pieces. So. Just kind of let the steam get on it. Last one, and then we will get onto the actual holder. Okay, just like that. So here are three pocket pieces. All right, we're gonna take our front. Piece. I'm going to take our front piece and I'm going to iron it. 
iron it out flat. So I'm going to decide which part I want to be the top. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that there. And we're going to just kind of line the pocket about there, maybe up a little bit higher, about there. I'm going to take my pins and I'm just going to kind of clip it on the side just so that it's nice and secure. Now then, what you're gonna do is take your sewing, take it to your sewing machine, and you're gonna iron, or iron, you're going to sew along this bottom edge here, a quarter of an inch, only on the bottom edge. So I'm gonna take it over to the sewing machine real quick and sew just along the bottom edge, and then we'll do the other two pockets. All right, so I sewed my bottom down here, so I'm gonna take these two clips out, but still kind of hold them off to the side. Next, well here, I'm just gonna iron this real quick, just so it's all flat. Next, you're gonna take your next piece and just kind of, however far down you wanna put it, mine overlaps right here, so it's about, maybe inch and a half, two inches from that first one. So then when I sew the next one on, okay, so I'm gonna separate it. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. That way when I do my next one, it's kind of down here. Alrighty, so here, I'm just gonna pin it. We're gonna do the same thing on this one. So along the bottom quarter of an inch. Alrighty, so you have this next one sewn in, so I'm just going to iron it flat again. And this last one here, I'm lining it up on this bottom, right here on the bottom. I'm just lining it up there. I'm going to clip it. Same thing. Clipping it, and we're going to sew the next part on. Alrighty, our last piece is sewn in, so it should look like this once it's all sewn on so you just have your three flaps and we're gonna iron so there we go and I'm going to use this other colorful piece here so now then I'm just gonna trim up on the sides just so that it's all nice and flat and even um, threads out of the way. And then I'm going to switch it over to the other side. Alrighty, there we go. So now then, what we're going to do is we're going to put our back piece on. So this is our front. We're going to put our back piece on. So which is minus this one here. And we're just going to lay it over nice and even. I'm just going to iron it real quick so that it's in place. Alrighty. You're going to pin these two sides and the bottom. You're just going to pin your sides and your bottom. Leave your top completely open. You're not going to sew your top. Um, and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around these three sides. So I'm going to take a pen and just mark which sides we're going to be sewing on. Where'd it go? Um, like I literally just have one. Alrighty. So we're not going to sew along this side, so I'm not going to mark it. So we're going to sew along this side here, this side, and this side. So just the three sides. Quarter of an inch all the way around. And then we'll do our next part. Alright, so now I'm going to trim all the sides and I'm just cut, oh sorry here. I'm just going to cut my corners. So I'm just going to trim. Just 
like that. Oh. And all three sides that we sewed on. my corners don't really need clipped so I'm just gonna throw all this in my trash can all right now then we're going to flip this right side out so that it's the patterns are showing patterns are facing so we're just gonna pull it right side out I'm going to take my pen and just kind of poke out the corners so that they're all nice and flat. Just like that. Now, now then, I'm going to just press it down all nice and flat so that it can stay. Alrighty, now then is where our stabilizer comes in, which mine is where, oh boy, so I'm going to take my stabilizer, I'm just going to do one at a time, I'm going to trim it down a bit though, um, on all sides, so I'm just about a quarter of an inch on the top. So maybe just like that. So that'll fit, should fit nice and snug in there. Okay, I'm gonna copy it on this one so that I can just. Oh, we do the same size. And the double stabilizer just gives it more, um, well, stabilizes it better. So that's why it calls for two pieces of the stabilizer. So now I'm just going to see if I can put them in there both at the same time. And so I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put it in there. So then I'm just going to kind of wiggle it in there and okay, I'm just going to kind of reach my hand in here and pull it in like I would a pillowcase. Alrighty, so I'm just got to get the rest of it in here. So now then, so let's see how far it comes. So it stops right here. So hopefully that will be enough to kind of fold the top under. So I'm just gonna iron it all flat again. And alrighty. Now then we have our stabilizer in there. So you can see the two my two pieces of stabilizer. I'm going to see if I can fold these edges over somehow. Let's see. So I'm kind of wanting this one to fold over this way so that it kind of hides that raw edge. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to kind of pull it out just a bit and trim it up, so that way it gives me plenty of room to so I'm gonna do another quarter of an inch, probably. There we go. That way it gives me a little more room to fold it in. So, let's see. Push it in there all the way, all the way down. Make sure it's all nice and flat so now it stops here, which did help. 
that. So now, now then, hopefully, when I fold it over, I'm going to do the back side first. So I'm going to fold it over and kind of envelope it type. So let me just kind of iron that, make a crease, and then just kind of fold these two front corners in, and just like that. So that worked good. I'm going to pin it across the top. And you're going to top stitch all the way around. You can either use a decorative stitch on this. That's up to you. So, whatever you would like to do, you can use whatever kind of stitching you want because it's your project. So, yeah. I'm going to sew across all four edges and I will be right back and we'll finish. Alrighty, now you have finished your little card holder. So here is, is how far they go down on each level. So, yeah. Thank you everybody for watching this video. And stay tuned for next week's video. Bye!